saying, I need your help. I surrender to your help. You, know, you say this to God, I surrender to your help. And each day, your prayer is to God, it's till yes. That's already a power. For me, the, the teachings are not complex now. The more by grace has come, I saw that now we are sharing teachings and pointings that is really at a level of comprehension is accessible to anybody. It doesn't matter what religion. Just keep your religion, whatever. But if you're looking for a connection in a way to have a direct connection with God, I will not give you any technique. The simple place I told, if you say yes and you mean it, and each day your prayer is to God, it's till yes. That's already a power. And then combined also with the exercise I give also, which is to break the grip of the psychological mind. Because when I gave the exercise, it's very simple, very difficult to do. Why? Because you have to keep bringing your attention into the beingness. That's the presence of God, actually, to keep bringing the attention to beingness. And just by experiencing the difficulty, then you see how much power your mind has in your life. You think it's you, but it's your mind and ego, the ego and its world. And because it's not been questioned, you think it's real. You go on with it. And now you're seeing. So all the prayers that I've given, like please, you know, scan and dissolve whatever message or conditioning are still that program is running inside my being and creating more and more difficulty, blocking my being from freedom. I offer this. Whatever is contained in that, I offer that this message is deleted or dissolved. And then the grace will also bring to your attention some of the things they are, and you just keep offering them up. It is not that the Supreme Lord of the Universe is giving you difficulties you cannot cope with. You earn those by the stubbornness of ego. But if you let God in, say, please, please help me. That's a humility and a surrender. Your ego mind fights against that. Because you have a sense of a, a sense of autonomy and power that is not really there. It's delusion. So by offering this prayer and doing the exercise is the most powerful thing, most powerful. Because it's not that we are being given some direction that is difficult. Oh, I've got to do all these techniques, and I've got to do all this stuff. And it's not that. So you don't have the excuse. And you see that the real obstacle was to, uh, that your, your ego, the authority of the ego, gets challenged. And we see we have investments and a lot of fears invested in the ego identity. And if you just begin those simple, simple things, just saying, I need your help. I surrender to your help. You, know, you say this to God, I surrender to your help. And you do the simple exercise of sitting and keeping the attention for you feel the pull of the mind to, to, to go into shape. And you just persist and keep it back. Keep back. And then you feel the when you come into a certain place, you start to feel that the mind energy is surrendering, is absorbed, being absorbed into the silence, and the joy that come with this. And what you're experiencing is the presence of grace, the presence of God. So no one really has any excuse to say, yeah, because the mind wants to keep telling you the, the daily personal problems and difficulties. You don't need that. That's a lesser teaching. Direct teaching, offer yourself up. I can't do it by in my own. Even as I said to you, Jesus Himself said, by myself I can do nothing without connection with the Supreme. And that humility must arise in your heart to ask for help. And that help, we you know where it comes from? 
come from the essence of your being. God is the essence of your being. Mind is not the essence of your being. You see, and uh, for this, as I say, it's really the the openness within each of us that that gives the capacity for the manifestation of God's grace. You're open, and so where my happiness come is being able to impart a very simple guidance that nobody can say, "Yeah, I can't keep up the guidance. It's too up. No, I said, "No, I said, do this. Say yes in your heart." You know, and also I've been saying, live as though I don't have to go to God somewhere else. He's right here. That your whole life is lived in the bright presence of God's grace. Never think, yeah, I've got to go and sit in my chapel, Lord. No, no. here, make your body the temple of God, and you, your connection is unbroken. Just keep saying yes. It's still yesterday. Not yesterday, yes, today, you know, and your life is on. Let me tell you, you have, can only be now. Nobody has ever experienced yesterday or tomorrow. If you think about tomorrow, plans for tomorrow, that's what you're doing with your now. If you reminisce about yesterday and we are about life, that's what you're putting in your now. Your now should be empty. And my now is empty. So I can move everything in spontaneous existence, and it makes space for grace to keep manifesting. That's how, in a way, that's the simplicity and the power of my life, and the complexity is working with the mind of human being in resistance. It's like that. So everyone, each one, you're on a journey. And each journey is unique, even to yourself. You're not going to walk the same steps again. Unique. But it's like making steps within the within the unchanging. And then gradually you're going to find that steps are happening, but you are not moving. And that's the beauty. And so even the talk we had this morning and we're having now also. This is a real Christmas message. Mm-hmm. If you want to say, actually, Christ message, and it's it's life message. Mm. Yeah, blessing, 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 blessing. I mean, may this, the blessing that we that flow from our heart, it has no boundary. You know. <laughs> The light is there for anyone who wants to step into it. Bless you, God. Bless you. Yes, bless you too. Bless, 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 bless. Thank you.